Now the year changed and uh, I want to give my best wishes and a farewell to Universal Windows Platform app in uh, to Universal Windows Platform UWP in 2000 and 2017. Uh, or what my question and uh, and my horoscope for the future is. Uh, what will happen in what will bring Microsoft is in software for desktop programming in 2017 and um, as far as uh, now Windows 10 is uh, was uh, is ran since two years and in this time uh, as soon as Windows 10 started they also brought out the uh, renaming of Windows Phone uh, software to Universal Windows Platform. So Microsoft thought that this was a big deal. But after two years, I have to say, Microsoft didn't uh, did not learn anything about their uh, their fail in uh, developing mobile apps and uh, Universal stuff. So uh, my hope is that in 2017 they stop UWP and rename it to Windows Phone again or Extended Phone or IO, uh, IOT for, for example and switch back to WPF which is a former uh, an old old working software platform this is the most stable and this is the uh, state of the art software at the moment the third party um, developers, control developers, they uh, all s are stuck there in WPF because uh, Universal Windows Platform is a big shit. That's my private uh, opinion. Uh, I tried to program it for one year and finally after one year I have to say there's uh, I'm missing so many things in that stuff it's the same what most other um, uh, developers miss on that point because it's only a phone software it's a, you are able to develop small apps there for a phone but not for a desktop application and uh, I won't give you one example a small example if you want uh, to make the context menu of, of a small for let's say image so when you click on an image on the windows explorer windows X, uh, in the windows desktop windows explorer if you want to open this and want to open a folder then it's that's not possible because of that uh, se uh, sandbox operation microsoft might do this because they have uh, there's a small microsoft and partners uh, bit in an extension uh, package and but most or nearly uh, there's an, a, a lot of functions which uh, are not allowed in Universal Windows platform uh, software so it would be better for for my wish my wish for 20 and uh, 2017 is that they stop that stuff because I, I had to do also to switch back to WPF now after one year you won't get you won't find any jobs on uh, UWP the jobs are done will be done in WPF and server databases web services and all that stuff maybe uh, what what they what Microsoft looks now is uh, the cash cows this which is Azure and uh, also office for example yeah? and uh, UWP is in my opinion dying it never came up uh, so this is a big shit and I, uh, I hope they close it or change rename it uh, another point is that you have no um, they you, they will never allow you to screen the desktop for example or uh, get the, a, a hook on a, on a keyboard key so because that's not allowed so this is it really it's really nonsense and furthermore they brought up now the um, the bridge software which is the real death of UWP because well a good main, main uh, idea to bring up WPF applications up to uh, to the store means that a WPF application might do now uh, my listen on a hook 
and my, or might also have a, the screen object, for example, but uh, UWP, the bigger software, the main software, the target, uh, is not able to do that. So all developers switch back to WPF or to Windows Forms, for example, because this one is running and the other one is uh, a shit, big shit. I don't know why Microsoft loses that point, because uh, my opinion, private opinion, is that uh, Microsoft doesn't care about the developers, uh, uh, usual developers. And that's the same point why, uh, why uh, Android came up, because uh, Google cared for the Android developers, and with the developers came the apps, and with the apps came Android. And now on Windows, uh, on UWP and the Microsoft Store, this is terrible. For example, <laughs> for small program, for small developers, the Microsoft Store costs seventy-five uh, dollars a year, but there is no revenue on that point. You will, you won't earn anything on that. So, why should anybody? create an application, a default, a small application, a small app, small app for Microsoft stores when you have to pay $75 uh, a year. It's nonsense. It's really nonsense. It's people try to do that stuff and then sooner or later they switch back. Okay, Microsoft always promotes its own platform, but there's for me, there's uh, my my hope and my best wishes for 2017 is please kill UWP and rename it and uh, run a real developer-based platform where you're uh, looking for your developers and listen on them.